It is time once again for the Real People Multi-Game Solitaire Mega Tournament. We are playing Power Play and things are starting to get a little warm. We've only gone one round, uh, but we have four of our nine competitors all here in downtown. Um, one of them is very close to getting the head. Uh, Snugbug just went into the room where the head is stored in a, in a locked, like, safety kind of display case. So it's not going to be like super easy for him to get out. He can't just pick it up. He's going to have to figure out a way to get it out of there. Um, and also, you know, he's, he does have the pipe smoking a proprietor in there with him. So I don't know that he's necessarily going to let him just take it. He might though, depends. Um, but even maybe a bigger problem for Snugbug here is the fact that there are three of his competitors also in the same area. Now, they're not in the building with him, but they're in downtown, and it's a free action for them to go in the building. So it doesn't take them any anything to go there on their turn. They can just be essentially where he is, um, especially since he didn't lock the door behind him or anything. Uh, and to make matters worse for Snugbug, two of them have guns. Uh, Flesh got a gun on camera last time, and then Smiley just got one. She just started. So we are actually now on Junior's turn. Junior just wrote a note. He's waiting in line to meet with the mayor. And I'm going to go off camera and figure out what he does. So Junior shakes hands with the mayor and, and hands him this note. Uh, he says to the others that this causes the mayor to want to meet with him um, because the mayor is so intrigued by this note and his own personal charisma. Um, some people bought that, others did not, more didn't buy it than did. They figured the mayor would be a little more cautious. Um, so we're gonna roll here to see if that even worked. And it didn't work, sorry Junior. He's going to have to make an amendment to his action. I think he's instead going to just call up the requisitioner to give him um, I'm the mayor documents. <laughs> so the requisitioner can give you any sort of um, document, security clearance, or contact with a person uh, at the end of that agent's action. So we're going to put a little three marker here by Junior. And each of his turns, that's going to go down one. And then when it goes all the way down, he'll get um, some documents delivered to him that say that he's the mayor. Kaz and Kat, on her turn, she, remember, she was at the bank and she got a, a, a secret meeting for a loan. Well, not a secret meeting, but it was important for her to have a, a private meeting so that she could do a secret action. And that secret action was that she offered a contract to the, the person, the loan officer, saying that when the time comes, um, as, so long as the officer pretty much did her bidding for the day, with the caveat that not, nothing would be lethal, the loan officer wouldn't get wouldn't get hurt or anything like that. Um, she smooth talked him, and since she has a secret role that lets her, you know, smooth talk and offer these special, um, divinely, uh, divinely or infernally guaranteed contracts. Um, in exchange for doing that, this person, she was going to let this person be the CEO of the bank immediately. Okay, so person signed. She she did it. That person's the CEO, and now the CEO for the bank is going to do her bidding for the day, um, which is pretty nice for her. Who knows what she's going to do with that? And who knows why Flush just walked into the trendy uh, clothes store and stole a mannequin. Um, and he wasn't sneaky about it. People saw him, and so the, the police might be on their way to downtown. There's probably police already downtown, but they're they're gonna be on the lookout for someone carrying a mannequin. Flush, you better run. Snugbug holds a ceremonial knife that he picked up uh, in the um, curio store and is holding it to the throat of the, the pipe smoking proprietor, saying, open this, this case for me or you're going to lose your throat to this ceremonial knife and the ceremonial knife will be wetted with your blood. And um, so the person is going to do that, but he sets off an alarm. Uh, that's a trait the other people voted on unanimously. The alarm is off. So the police are now looking for both Flush and they're heading to the, the um, curio shop uh, where there's a lot going down. 
the heat of police, the impending police presence does not uh, stop Little Red, though. He walks in to the curio shop and starts dousing the whole place with gasoline. The whole place is very flammable now. Let's move on to Danimal. Danimal spent his turn finishing his research. He now knows where in the nature preserve the body of the shrunken head. I wonder if the body's also shrunken, uh, but it's he knows where it's buried. Um, Stubby, for his part, he used the the requisitioner to set up a, well, called him and, and told the requisitioner to start setting up a meeting with um, a, a uh, gullible curio collector. Um, so that's what he's doing. So that's gonna take three turns. He can do other things while that counts down. Let's move on to Weasel and that'll be our last turn of the round of turns. Weasel in the bathroom in the high school is doing what's called a delay in this game. What a delay does is it lets you um, take a long action on your next turn. Certain things re are required. Uh, they have to be a long action. For example, um, Danimal's research in the library that, that was ruled to be a long action. Traveling from one location to the next is always a long action as well. Um, there's there's other anything that's that would take longer than ten minutes is a long action.